My name is Jay Jernigan. I'm a special agent with the DEA. And um, this, this time of year is very important for us in DEA because Cam uh, Keith Camarena uh, was an agent just like me. And as you know the story, he was uh, kidnapped a long time ago and he died doing what he wanted to do, is try to keep drugs out of, uh, out of the United States. So this, this week, the whole week from the 23rd to the 30th, around the country is Red Ribbon Week. And that's a time where we wear, wear uh, our red, red badges, red shirts, and we remember his sacrifice. And we think about why illegal drugs are bad and what we, what we can do to, to make ourselves more knowledgeable about drugs and why they're bad and, and, um, and why they come into the country. I'm, I'm going to talk in a few minutes, but I, um, I want to introduce uh, Bertha Tamayo Camarena. Um, she is uh, Kiki Camarena's sister, and she wants to say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Jernigan. Good morning, boys and girls. I am so happy to be here and be part of this assembly uh, to do and remember my brother Enrique Kiki Camarena. And as I was hearing Jay speak, I was looking at the past here, and I just brought back a lot of memories because I was part, literally, in having this bus um, be here because I traveled to Guadalajara, Mexico about five, six years ago and met with the sculpture and um, we went to his ranch and he's a very famous sculpture in Guadalajara that has done a lot of sculptures, big and small, uh, for various um, buildings, institutions. And um, Mr. Gerardo Gonzalez, uh, uh, he's over there, uh, one of your police officers uh, was kind enough to bring the bust to show it to you, which is the first time they have done it. It's, it's actually um, said at a little memorial they have at the PD, which all of you are welcome to go anytime and see it. But when you, when the after the assembly is done, please take a moment because we wrote messages on the back of the bust, and a lot of people don't know that because uh, we traveled. Um, from California to Guadalajara, and I had another sister from Texas who traveled and met us over there. And I took my son uh, to uh, go with us so he can learn the uh, learning experience. And you will see our names in the back. At the sculpture, the sculpture said, "Go ahead and write on it." Are you sure? He said, "Yes. Go ahead. Make it personal." So because the bus is always facing forward, you cannot see the back, but now you have the opportunity. So it was very, a very nice experience and um, moving too because we got to see where he worked and where he was taken when he was tortured, the house and, and et cetera. And it's been 30 years already and my family has coped year after year um, with uh, his memory, his legacy, saying no to drugs to all of you um, to, to be safe, to have a successful life, staying drug free, and that's the object why all of us here, all the agencies, FBI, the police department, sheriff, and I cannot name all of them, DEA of course, and it's just, it just takes um, an awesome to see all this participation for all of you, they're here for you to keep you drug free. And it, it goes on um, not only this week, but it's your decision, your choices to stay drug free, away from those drugs because they do you no good. And I'm gonna underline you, underline no good. I seen it firsthand, I seen it. And it's, it's just great to see you, all of you in red and a little boy in National City asked me yesterday, um, what, how come you chose red? And actually, at the beginning, you know, when this started, we didn't, have, we didn't know why red. But then we came up with a nice solution. And we said, okay, when you see uh, green at a signal light, it means go. When you see the yellow light or amber light, caution so when you see the red what does it mean stop and we're asking you to stop and think 
before you make a decision regarding the bad drugs. So th that's what we tell you. You know, stop, think. You're at an age right now, junior high school, where those drugs are around you, everywhere. I know, because my son used to come home and say, Mom, guess what, so-and-so has offered me drugs. Okay, he asked me to put my head back, Mom, he was gonna pop me one in. He said, you better not, he says, no, Mom. He says, if I do use drugs, it's like snapping my tío Kiki on the face. So that was his, um, that was his, his uh, reason not to use drugs. And he remembers, you know, he remembers his tío Kiki going to the house, playing with him. And um, so that's the reason, that's the reason that um, we are here. And it's a pleasure to see all of you. Uh, I grew up in Calexico and I went to school in Calexico and I worked in Calexico, so um, all my life I spent here, it's my home. So I'm so happy to be here sharing this experience with you. And I hope to see you next year and guys, stay drug free. Thank you. All right, back to me again. <laughs> All right, like I said, I'm with uh, DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration, and this is um, a great, great time of year for us. And 